Okay, uh, some of you might not appreciate this song, but like I said, in my case, this was so popular back in the 1980s when I was a little boy, and um, I just can't stop thinking about my father. I love Fujikaze because he always touches my heart and my soul every time he sings. And that is why he is my most favorite Japanese singer. Hello ladies and gentlemen, those in between, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alvarez and today we are going to be reacting to another Fujikaze's video. Konnichiwa, arigato, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and to those of you guys who have been on this YouTube channel for the very first time, I would like to check out my other reaction videos, especially my reaction videos to Fujikaze's videos, and if you like them, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before closing out this video. Anyway, for today's video, I'm pretty much excited about making my reaction video to Fujikaze's cover of the song Arthur's Theme, and he performed this song at Apollo Theater, New York, New York, uh, US of A, last gen June 1st, 2024. So this video is a um, mm, four day old video. Yeah, because today's June 5th. But anyway, guys, what are we waiting for? We'd better get started. <laughs> Fujikaze is getting ready to perform his next song, next cover entitled. Arthur's theme. <laughs> what? By the way, I see you everywhere. I really would really would love to be part of a crowd. Silence. Here we go. Ah, uh, it really feels so good to be listening to the song again. It's been a while. How beautiful. Oh goodness gracious, the piano version of the song. Ah, oh. I'm not exactly sure when this song was released, but I remember I would listen to the song back when I was really young like I was a little kid and it just feels so nostalgic listening to the piano cover of this song oh. Okay, uh, I love the original version of the song, but quite honestly, Fujikaze is slaying this cover. I mean, Fujikaze's voice just suits this type of music genre, and his voice is so soothing to the ears. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
I, I, I really feel nostalgic because um, I would, I mean, this song was very popular in the Philippines. I don't know, maybe in the in the eighties. I think it was. Wait, I gotta be sure. Um, all right, Arthur's theme uh, released date. Okay, nineteen eighty one. Yes, yes, I was born in nineteen eighty. And this song was so popular here in the Philippines back in the 1980s. Like I said, I was a little kid. I would hear this song uh, being played everywhere. And um, memories are coming rushing back to me while I'm listening to this beautiful cover of the song. Um, I'm so happy that Fujikaze chose to sing this song because like I said, it just matches up with his beautiful voice. You guys know that I am a pretty emotional type of personality and whenever I listen to something that brings back memories for some reason I just you know tear up <laughs> uh, I remember my late father he's the very first person that popped into my mind while I'm listening to uh, Fujikaze sing that song my late father he passed away back in 2007. I never had the, the, the chance to have a very close relationship with him and that's my greatest regret in my life. Ah, Fujikaze, you're making me feel a little bit down again. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this song is, um, I mean, it has a significant essence for me because, um, number one, I was born in 1980, and every time I listened to anything that was released back in the 1980s and became so popular at that time, um, I feel like I am taken back in time and reminisce good old days. Ah, Fujikaze, thank you for choosing to sing this song. It's so, so, so beautiful. Okay, uh, some of you might not appreciate this song, but like I said, in my case, this was so popular back in the 1980s when I was a little boy, and um, I just can't stop thinking about my father. I love Fujikaze because he always touches 
my heart and my soul every time he sings. And that is why he is my most favorite Japanese singer. I have my other favorite like J-pop groups, especially Number I, Shohirano, Yuta Jinguji, Yuta Kishi, B First, Minato, Ryoki, Junon, Leo, Sota, Ryohei, Shun, uh, Shuntaro, you know, these are my favorite, of course, Kinky Kids, Koichi Demato, and um, uh, Koichi Demato, and, and, and uh, Shioshi Demato, you know, these are my favorite Japanese singers, but when it comes to like solo artists, Fuchikaze is my number one most favorite singer, Japanese singer. Oh gosh, he has made me cry again. Right now, first of all, I would like to say that this song um, has a very special spot in my heart because this song became so popular here in the Philippines back in the 1980s. And like I said earlier, I remember very, very clearly back when I was a little boy, not even when I was kindergarten. I think I was just like three years old, four years old, five years old, you know, six, seven, eight, you know, even in the late 80s. And even after now, this song is still played on the radio at certain times especially on a sunday afternoon because for the most part songs that are played on a sunday afternoon are old classic hits like songs that were so popular back in the 1960s 70s 80s you know 1990s and um this song goodness gracious it, it just brings back a lot of memories and I am so 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 happy that I've given this uh, video a shot and that Fujikaze um, chose to do a cover of this song because goodness gracious it's absolutely beautiful and I love how the audience was just paying attention to the entire performance like nobody um, screamed on top of her lungs nobody made some noise it was like wow everyone was just you know focusing on this beautiful cover so ah beautiful 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 <laughs> but anyway guys please let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below because of course your opinions matter too all right so that's about it for today's video thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video hit the like button hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when my next video comes out peace out <laughs>